Introduction Analysis of huge dataset has been major concern in almost all areas of technology from the past few decades and the role of the data mining has become so crucial as a result of this crisis. As data size increases from gigabytes to terabytes or even larger, the complexity in collecting and warehousing this massive data set as such in a single site become crucial and practically impossible. That's why, therefore, they are accumulated in geographically distributed sites. When these data are distributed in geographical sites, there some challenges were introduced. These are how to learn as much knowledge from the distributed databases without causing too much communication bandwidth. Our ultimate aim is to identify patterns from this data and as well as uh, reducing the communication cost. Hence, the algorithm, transaction algo encoding algorithm uses methods to encode the transaction which reduces the size of transaction that in, that in turn reduces the communication cost. Hence our aim is obtain. The data structure. Transaction encoding algorithm transforms a transaction into small dimension transaction with all properties of its original form. Whenever this transaction is reduced in the form of the number or any other pattern, its original properties also remain. In an encoded transaction, items are represented by numbers. By this way, the new transaction is much smaller than the previous one. Because of this, trans transactions can be transmitted easily and our ultimate goal is obtained that is cost of communication is reduced. Data structures used in T uses three parts as follows. First, database of customer transaction. This is nothing but the set of records what the customer buys and purchases. This is called as a transaction performed by the system. Second, item set, on which the transaction is formed, for example, any product will be formed into, come into the part of the item set. And last one is a matrix, nothing but the set of records which shows the values in the row and column form. Here is the actual algorithm of the transaction encoding. It takes the input database D and the transaction I in the ordered format. Every transaction in D is a subset of I. Output algorithm gives us the output as a core matrix C and the reduced database. In this reduced database, we actually found the strings or items with the maximum frequency. S is the variable which stores the size. Here, two three conditions are internally checked by this T algorithm. In the first, it checks whether it is a prime or not. That is nothing but the size of the entire transaction record. If it is prime, prime then the value is incremented otherwise uh, remains same it also uh, check for the dimension and load condition in the dimension it check whether transaction uh, externally have some uh, externally have some branches or not if not then it produces a load call otherwise uh, some while loops were executed let's see example of the transaction let we have the item set i as given bread, bun, burger, butter, cheese, egg, food, etc. And following is the table showing the transaction record. Let we have the 5 transaction record of the customer. And our aim is to identify the item with the maximum frequency. But with the efficient and fast manner. What the transaction encoding algorithm will do? In the first phase, it will identify the each row item with the max frequency is identified. As we know, we have identified the table of 3 rows. It is started from the reverse order that is from the row 1, 2 and 3 and similarly the items were written from the uh, starting position that is bread, burn, burger, butter, cheese etc. Items with the max frequencies pass from T and here is the output what we got the burger the items with the uh, items with the maximum frequencies has located. Uh, the values in the uh, parenthesis shows the max frequency count like jam appears for the 4 times, cheese appears for the 4 times bread, burger, butter appears for the three times, etc. In this way, we got our result. Experimental results. T algorithm has been performed on some real-time larger data sets and in which there are a number of commodities in transactions where large in a number such as 150, 100, 50, 25, 10, etc. When we perform this processing with the tra uh, traditional way of the transactions, we so we found our result within 30 seconds, 0.30 seconds. But when we produce, uh, when we pass these 150 transaction commodities 
our in the transaction including algorithm we actually got result within within 20.75 uh, milliseconds that's a huge difference what we got in the time of the processing as well as the communication cost is also reduced from this above discussion we can conclude that there are two important variables that influence the communication time first the number of the transactions and the number of items in a transaction but the algorithm t focuses on dependent on the number of transaction because of this even we pass the larger amount of a data or a set of the transaction it will give us the result in the efficient and fast manner thank you